Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to make some easy fajitas. So the recipe is at the end of the video, but there is really no recipe. You can throw any vegetables you find in your fridge into this mixture and as long as they are cooked properly, they'll be fine. So here I have a medium onion. I'm going to cut this up first in, into wedges, relatively thin wedges, and start cooking this over medium heat. I like my onions done very soft so they are going in first. While these cook, I started to slice up the bell peppers. You can use any peppers you want, like poblano, Anaheim, whatever is in, on sale, whatever you can find in your stores. I wouldn't recommend jalapenos just because they can be spicy and you would have to use quite a few of them to get this quantity. You'll want to cut everything up into the same size and cook everything in an order that you prefer so that it will reach your desired doneness if you use anything that takes a little longer to cook be sure to throw that in with the onions or before the onions next i have zucchini i'm cutting these into slices just so that they'll cook at the same rate as the bell peppers i'm going to throw them in with the bell peppers so i slice these up and put them into the pan once the onions started to brown at this point, I did add some of my seasonings to the pan. I added salt, pepper, garlic salt, and red chili powder. I will be using a fajita seasoning later in this video. It is from Lowry's. So add your seasonings. The salt will help it break down faster and draw out a lot of that water. It also helps to put a lid over it to help it cook faster. It will cook pretty fast. You'll only need to cook it for roughly 20 minutes in total. Now the last thing I'm going to throw in is mushrooms while these start to break down because the mushrooms cook very fast. When it comes to mushrooms, you can use more or less or leave them out entirely. If you don't want to use a protein, you can add more mushrooms or tofu if you'd like. So I'm going to add the mushrooms to the pan and allow them to cook down. Now, if you're only using mushrooms, this will be your final step. But once you're done with the mushrooms and they've cooked down, down to your desired texture, go ahead and add your final seasonings and serve it up. If you're using pre-cooked chicken, just let that warm through. Throw it in with the mushrooms, let it warm through. Um, same with tofu. But I'm going to let these mushrooms cook up. Then I'm going to let to remove everything from this pan, rinse it out a bit so that I can reuse it to cook the meat in. I am using beef. I don't use a lot of beef. I probably buy it twice a year, if that, but this meat was on sale, so I decided to go ahead and buy some for some fajitas. It would work with chicken, pork, or really any meat. I sliced this, these rounds into relatively the same size as the bell peppers so that they would cook really fast and fit in with the rest of the vegetables in an easier way so that they weren't too bulky or too small. Once I finished slicing them up, I put them in a pan with a little bit of canola oil and added the rest of the seasonings to the meat. This is where I'm using the fajita mixture. It is from Lowry's. It is called Red Fajita. I sprinkled a little bit on there. Cooked the meat for only a few minutes because it was relatively thin. I didn't need to overcook it. Added a bit of garlic salt, regular salt, black pepper, and red chili powder. Once it was done, I added the vegetables back to the pan. Stirred that up so that I could get ready to serve it. I did miss the serving part of this video, so it does cut off, but I served it with a side of red leaf lettuce and made wraps out of that, so it was rather healthy. Uh, you can serve this over rice, you can serve this with beans, you can serve this with tortillas, any way you like. Great throw together meal, it only takes a few minutes. It's something that you can make any day of the week with any vegetables you have in your fridge just make sure they're cooked 
I hope you enjoyed this recipe and I thank you so much for watching. I garnished with a little bit of cilantro, but you can leave that out if you don't like it. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.